Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we are going to be looking at how to get, bear with me on this one, how to get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube in 2018 within, you know, within one year, okay? Now, you may think this is clickbait, and to a certain extent, yes it is, but I actually will teach you how to do it, and you can go and take the, what you're gonna learn from this video, and you can go and get 100,000 subscribers, okay? Uh, please watch the whole video before you, before you go and leave a comment, okay? Now, make sure you do subscribe, turn on the notifications, and of course, smash the like button for all the future videos as well. But let's get straight into this. Now, what I'm going to do on this um, <clears throat> this video is is tell you what I've actually been doing. I'm going to share some figures with you, um, and and basically my strategy for increasing my YouTube growth exponentially through 2018. And what I'm doing, and we're going to work this out. You know, we're going to how how basically how much it's going to cost me to get to 100,000 subscribers. Now, because what we're going to do is we're going to use AdWords. We're going to use advertising to do this. You will be able to go, get organic subscribers, but we're going to assume from this point on that I get no organic organic subscribers from today. Okay. Now, this is just to make the math a little bit easier because we we can't really tell how how many organic subs we're going to get into the future. But let's just assume that we get zero for this video. Now. I'm gonna show you AdWords and I'm gonna show you um, YouTube analytics. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at the YouTube analytics. So this is the 1st of January and as you can see, generally, let me scroll up a bit, generally, I was getting around, let's say 30 subscribers a day organically. So just, you know, people like yourself, just kind of finding my channel for a related video or anything like that, watching it, liking the channel and pressing, pressing subscribe. So that's how that would happen, just organically on YouTube, kind of around 30 a day. What I then started doing around this sort of time here, okay, I think it was around around this sort of time, I started running adverts on YouTube. And for a long time, I was hesitant to run YouTube adverts because I was thinking I needed a big production quality and stuff like that. Um, but it turns out it was better just to do it and make an advert that's not what wasn't fantastic and just rather get it out there, okay? And I will show you the uh, the analytics on on that. The, well, the two videos that I'm running, okay? As you can see, from that point, I started to gain more subscribers every single day. Um, my advert then had some fatigue, so I turned it off, and as you can see, when that happened, my sub subscriber growth went down, and actually dropped down to 15 one day, but then again, it went back up to the kind of 30 mark, which I which I expected. I redid my camp campaign, spent a bit of time rejigging them. Um, I actually booked a coaching call with someone to understand a bit more about about uh, about AdWords, and then again turn them on again, and we're we're back to getting you know um, these these kind of figures here, which is which is awesome. I am running a little bit less money as well than I was back here. So that's what I've been doing, and if we we to, we were to extrapolate this for the rest of the year, I wouldn't get to 100,000 subs, okay, um, at this particular growth rate. So what we're going to do is work, we're going to work out how much I'd have to spend to get to 100,000 subscribers. Um, within within you know from now to the rest of the year okay and you could do the exactly the same thing or just replace 100k subscribers for 1000 or you know 10,000 or 20,000 or 50,000 whatever your goal may be I want to get to 100,000 it's a nice round figure um, yeah it'd be quite cool to do that so that's what we're going to go with today now let's go over to AdWords and have a little look at this so this is um, this is Google AdWords and this is how you will do YouTube advertising as you can see around this time I started turning turning these adverts on and just kind of testing them out a bit the blue line is your the amount of clicks that you're getting on the actual advert and the red line is the amount of impressions as you can see I've been experimenting with different ad sets and stuff like that this one had very very high impressions but um, not very good not not very good amount of clicks so obviously that turn got turned off you know, nearly straight away. And I've just been experimenting over the past kind of few days, a few weeks to see how many clicks I can get per impressions. And it's getting a lot cheaper for the last few days as well, which is quite nice as you see this nice little uptrend right here as I'm optimizing. And of course today we're at 34 clicks. <clears throat> so, uh, and it's quite early today. So it's, you know, it's just one o'clock in the UK. Total I've had uh, just over 2000 clicks, over 200,000 impressions. My average cost per click is 36 pence. And the total amount I've spent on YouTube advertising is 844 pounds. Now, let's work out how much a subscriber is costing me. This is super important for the long-term goal, right? How much does a subscriber cost? So really simply, what we do is we take the kind of average amount of subscribers, which is about 30, let's say, a day, and we're gonna times it by the amount of, amount of days uh, that we're looking at, okay? So the amount of days here is 38. Uh, all we do is do uh, 30 times 38, and we take that away from 2003, and we get to, it's about 860, okay? It's about 860 in total. 
And then what we do is we go over here and we say, okay, we've spent 844 pounds to get 860-ish subscribers. Um, so what we can do is we even that out and we say, right, well, one subscriber cost me about one pound to acquire. So I have to run one pound's worth of advertising <clears throat> or spend one pound to get a subscriber. So about two and a half or three clicks, okay? Two and a half, three clicks will get me a subscriber, which is pretty cool. I, I had no idea about this. Now, if we want to make, let's actually fill, start filling this out because I want, I want you to do this. So cost per subscriber, one pound, okay? Now, what I also want to work out is if, if this is going to be profitable for me, is it going to be worthwhile? Now, we'll get on, onto this in a second. Um, now, actually, no, let's do it straight away, okay? So the cost to get to a, th a thousand, sorry, 100K subs, it's very simple. I'm about 90, uh, sorry, I'm about 5,000 subscribers at the moment, just over. So we'll just assume 95,000. Uh, so we just do 95,000 uh, times one. So it's 95,000. So that's how much it's gonna cost me. Again, remember, if I had zero organic followers um, for the rest of the year, it will cost me 95,000 pounds. So we're, we're highballing it a little bit, <clears throat> of course, but I, I, I don't know how many organic subscribers I get. I might get a video that pops and get loads of organic subscribers. I really. I can't tell. At the very most, it'll probably be 95,000. So um, what we wanna do is work out the value and uh, how many I'll have to get a day as well. So left in the year, we've got how many days left in the year? So let's just work that out. Sorry guys, I did not prepare this. Um, so 365 days, we're gonna minus, uh, what did I say, 38 or something like that. So 327 days left of the year and um, I have to get 95,000 what did I just say? 325. I can't remember what I just said. So we're going to divide 95,000, divide that by 320. I think I can't remember, 325. So I have to spend about 292 pounds a day to, um, to get to my goal of 100K subscribers. Again, no organically, no organic subs by the end of 2018. So I've got to spend, yeah, 200. Let's just double check that again. <clears throat> we'll go 95,000 divided by, say, 325, whatever it was. Yeah, about about 300 pounds, okay, 300 pounds a day. I don't wanna spend 300 pounds a day at the moment. That's a lot of money to me. Um, but eventually I will do, and obviously I'll have to make up for it. Now, let's have a look at this. On the left-hand side, cost per subscriber, one pound, value per subscriber, okay? Now, I've worked this out, so I obviously monetize my YouTube channel, and I recommend you guys do as well. Don't run on ad revenue, because it's very, 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 very small. Um, but the average value per subscriber, so if you take the amount that I've made um, kind of ish from YouTube, I could say directly from YouTube, and you divide that by the divide that by the amount of subscribers, you will get about 11 pounds, okay? So that means if I'm spending one pound to acquire a subscriber, I am profiting 10 pounds. So if I have 100,000 subscribers, nice and simply, I should, technically, obviously, may not be exactly uh, true, it's not, it's not a science, I should be making about a, uh, a million from, from that subscriber base. So that, was, that would be why you would run YouTube adverts. You would do it because it's profitable for you. And that even, you know, that, that profit there, so that could even be, that could be five pounds, right? Profit per subscriber. So that means, you know, I can spend six pounds, uh, I can spend, I can spend six pounds per subscriber. It's a lot of money, right? Six pounds per subscriber is a lot. I would still be making five pounds profit and obviously this <clears throat> would be 500,000, which is, you know, I'd be pretty happy with for a year's work, okay? Now, this is important. So how can you go ahead and do this, okay? Let's say you wanna to get to a 1,000 subscribers or anything like that. You can start running your advertising campaigns. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and show you how to do all of the advertising campaigns. That is, that is loads of other videos that you'd have to put together. You can, of course, reach out to me. You can book coaching calls and stuff like that. Um, but I'm no expert at YouTube adverts at the moment. I do plan to be. But at the moment, I guess, I've only been doing it for two or three weeks. Um, but these are pretty good results and um, they could be better. My cost per view, as you can see, it's been as low as two pence. Um, at the moment, the ones that are running are three pence and five pence per, per view. Now, which are the videos that I'm running, okay? Let's go have a look at my video manager. So you're gonna see the back end to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Take screenshots, guys. Um, right, so let's go ahead and look for it. So it's, it doesn't have a thumbnail, here it is. So this is one of the adverts that I'm running. It's just a little advert and you might have seen it. It's really cheesy and it's about two minutes long. I recorded it, kind of first take, get it out there. And of course I will make this better eventually. And that has 20, that's had 28,000 views. So I paid for 28,000 people 
to watch that video. And that's generating subscribers, of course, not everyone clicks through. A better advert will convert better. It's not a very good advert, but it is an advert. The other one I am running, okay? The other one I am running, I will find for you. It's actually on my, uh, my homepage. So let's go view my channel. Let's have a little look. So this is the, this is the one that I'm also advertising. I started advertising this uh, about a week ago and it's on about 8,000 know, 8, views at the moment. And when I started running the advertising, it was probably about 2,000, maybe 2,500 views on it. So we've gained quite a lot of views on that and I'm getting more engagement on that video because it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's one hour and 20 minutes long. There's a huge amount of value in there. So I'm getting lots of engagement, lots of likes, lots of comments, um, which will increase the notoriety of my channel. I'll get more subscribers from it. And also the reason I use this video is that when I go into the analytics, this is the video that, that has brought me in the most subscribers, okay? So that means someone's watching it and they go, oh, I like this, subscribe. So you can look at the analytics on the back end in uh, Creator Studio and you can see which video is bringing you the most subscribers. So this was that, that video. It's the most valuable video I probably have, which makes sense for me to then advertise it. Um, so that's, that's the two videos I'm promoting at the moment. If you were to do it yourself, I would probably suggest that you, um, create an advert, okay, create an advert or promote videos on your channel, okay? So if you have a, a video that's particularly good, one that you wanna promote, then start promoting that through AdWords and start to get more views on it. That means it will rank organically as well. You'll get a better ranking because you have more views and more engagement. Uh, and if you want to make a specific advert, again, you can do that as well. But play around with it, work out, guys, work out. If you're just doing it for social proof, then you don't need to work out your value per subscriber. Um, but if you do know the value of a subscriber for you, and if you have a channel that's been running for a while, you, you probably will know this. If not, you need to work it out. Um, work that out, and as long as you're spending less, right, as long as you're spending less um, to acquire that subscriber, then you will eventually profit from it. Now, guys, something to bear in mind, it doesn't, it doesn't exactly, it's not a science, okay? So if I spend one pound per subscriber, it doesn't mean I will technically make 10 pounds, okay? I may make that 10 pounds over three months, six months, a year, who knows? Because you might subscribe to me today and then you might wanna buy something from me or use my affiliate links in 10 months time, okay? So it's not immediate, it's not like you put in one pound, you get out 10, it doesn't work like that. This is a long game, it's what YouTube is all about. But the statistics are there for a reason, it's a good way where you can, you can look at the analytics of your channel the amount of income you're getting, and look at it more like a business in terms of you know how how much is, is a customer worth for you, and how much is a customer worth over the the lifetime of that customer, and that's just how businesses operate. And if you have a business and you don't do that, you need to understand that because then you know how much you can spend to acquire a customer, and that is key to marketing is understanding your costs. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any specific questions, I'm sure you will do. Then just go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. I will get back to every single person, uh, and if you have questions, of course I'll. Answer them in depth. If you have any really, really specific questions you don't want to share um, kind of publicly, then feel free to send me an email at info at johnnybradley.com. Send me a direct message on Instagram, or you can send me a message on Facebook. All the links are in the description. Again, I get back and read every single comment, every single question. I get back to every single person, okay? Uh, something that takes up a lot of my time, but I, I love to do it for you guys. If you want to know more about AdWords, um, then of course you can reach out to me. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm not claiming to be expert expert right now by any means. However, I'm going on a uh, a lot of uh, I'm going on a very mystical journey of education with YouTube advertising, and I hope to learn a lot more and upskill myself significantly over the next few weeks. Okay. And of course, I'll be spending and experimenting and stuff like that. Um, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. And uh, of course, if you want me to have a look at your channel, analyze it, or if you want to share your channel, just put it down in the comments down below. Um, I might have to take them out of spam, but if you just post a link to it, or just say, hey guys, I have an entrepreneur channel, I have an Amazon channel, affiliate marketing channel, and then of course, we can click on your, your, your face and we can go and go to your channel. So let us know if you have a YouTube channel and if you're trying to grow it. Hopefully we can help each other out. I, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, but of course subscribe, subscribe for future knowledge drops. Turn that notification bell on so when I go live, you can, you can come join me live and ask questions and I'll see you of course tomorrow, bye-bye.